Hey guys, it's Jordan. So, coming at you today with a brand new clothing haul. So excited. I have done a little bit of damage on some clothing websites and um, I was lucky enough to be gifted a few things. So I thought it's about time. The pile has just been like this. Just been growing. I thought it was about time that I did a clothing haul and what makes doing these 10 times better is one, because I freaking love anything to do with clothes. Don't know if I've told you already, but like clothes are my thing. She says, and I've said it about 20 million times. And you guys love the clothing videos on my channel, which is so exciting. So let's do this. I have some really, really fab brands that are being shown. Um, so we got the Rex, the Rex, Priddle Thing and Misguided. And we've got some newbies. And then I'm pretty sure I've never shown the last two before my channel, if my brain can like backtrack that far. It is Miss Pap. Oh, Miss Pap and Nasty Gal. And of course, as per usual, it is of course a try on video. I never, ever, ever, ever do these videos without doing a try on because it is so much easier to see something on. Like you, you know then if you want to spend your dollar on it or you want to keep it for, I don't know, something important in your life like food. So I'm going to quit it with the intro and show you guys some of the fab pieces that I've got recently. And I hope you guys love them as much as me. Of course, everything will be linked in the description box below. Make sure you check there. I'll have my deets so my sizes and everything there as well. Yeah, I'm gonna, let's just do this. <laughs> Starting with Miss Pap. I love Miss Pap. I don't know why I've not shown anything from them sooner. I just have to start with them because honestly, I am freaking dying to show you these trousers. Like they are so fab and they are so cool. You need them. Like, how freaking cool, right? So these are camo print trousers. They're like red, burgundy, and black. Anything camo at the moment, like literally, gimme. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Like they are such, a did I just hit my bum? <laughs> they are literally the statement piece to your outfit. Like you put these on, put a nice sort of plain top with it, done like literally quick styling i love it nice thick kind of like trouser material they have sort of thick cuffs on each ankle and then a drawstring waist which let me tell you i appreciate that so much because you can pull that ish in and your waist is like snatched they fit really really lovely as well oh that's one thing actually sizing so i am typically a size eight on the bottom for trousers and when i went to buy these trousers they didn't have a small in which was an eight to ten but they had a medium which was a ten to twelve now i thought you know what we're gonna risk it for a chalky bisque we're gonna do it <laughs> i got them in a medium and i cannot imagine getting a small these fit perfectly like the perfect length the perfect fit around my bum my waist my legs just everything these fit exactly how i would want them to fit they're so comfortable so i was like hey that chalky bisque was so worth it and not expensive at all 25 pound for a really fab pair of trousers that i know i'm gonna get so much wear out of like i'm gonna live in these i'm gonna wear the crap out of them honestly think every girl and boy needs these in their wardrobe like they're such a statement piece but such an easy piece if you know what i mean they're not like statement and you're like <laughs> how am i gonna wear you i've just realized the last two bits i have from miss pap are bottoms i promise i do have like tops and jumpers and dresses in this haul it's not just trousers these look how cute <laughs> i've been seeing these around everywhere like on instagram and everything they're them shorts like them frilly sort of layered shorts that actually look like a skirt on it is honestly so cute they just like frill out white which means they're literally gonna go with everything makes my life so much easier also as well do you just want to say i know how hard it is to i'm just gonna let my aunt go because it's like dying <laughs> i know how hard it is to find white bottoms that aren't see-through like is it just me or do they just not exist half the time it's like i do not want to be showing my tushy you know what i mean i don't want to be showing what underwear i'm wearing i don't want to be showing my tushy don't want to be showing any of that <laughs> these though aren't a see-through so this part here this top bit i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit see-through but where it's high-waisted this part doesn't show like it doesn't sit where your underwear is if that makes sense this part does and obviously where this is like layered there's no way no way in hell that anything's gonna be showing which is fab no one wants to see my butt today no thank you everything's like cute and fab to me has anyone else realized this like <sighs> i need to like extend my vocabulary think of some new words jordan you can totally dress these up dress them down you do you with them they were 20 pounds as well yay put you over there the last thing from miss pap are these amazing amazing <laughs> trousers now i love me i love me i love me i love me some wide leg trousers i think they just dress something up like bam instantly which is great i know that you can get some wide leg trousers which just look like your legs look like two tree trunks <laughs> like there's legit no shape but these ones fit 
these are them. So as you can see, they have like a chain waist belt detail situation going on at the top, which is so cool. And then it goes down. Of course it goes down, drawn in its trousers. But... And then at the bottom, you can't really see, it's kind of hard to show you, but there is like little splits just coming up the legs. So you know, a little bit of leg action going on. These fit beautifully. Like, you know, when you find a good pair of wide leg trousers that fit you around the waist, go around the bum, nice on the leg, you know it's a good day you know it's a good day. Stuck to my size with these, I got a size eight and they were, let me just check on here cause I can't remember. I'm just so not prepped, honestly, like the story of my life. They weren't bad though, I thought 25 pounds. I can already picture these with like a black top, like an all black outfit with like the chain being the, what am I, like Italian? Just being the statement basically. So yeah, that is Miss Pat, but done. I only picked up a couple bits, but. I'm gonna get my ass back on there because I kind of want like a few more bits now. I was actually gonna go ahead and do a pretty little thing next, my absolute faves. Like honestly can't stop spending my money on there. If I was a website, if I could put my style into a website, it would be pretty little thing. I absolutely love them, just love them. But, hmm. I think I'm gonna show you Nasty Girl because I really wanna show you this dress because, oh, you know when you look at a dress and you sit and you're like, oh, I bet that's gonna be like expensive as hell. You know the ones I mean, you know the ones I mean. This dress is that dress, but the price tag that goes with it, I don't know how they do it. I feel like all I have to do is this and I'm like, anything satin, silk, ugh. I just love it. Here is the dress. I mean, first of all, ignore the creases. They just need to like drop out. I have just got it out of the packaging. So you have this V-neck front. So, you know, a little bit of cleavage on show. A little bit of the girls are on show. Or if you're like me, just, it's not really anything there to show off, but you can't wear a bra with this because the back actually like crosses over. You can't see right now, but yeah. But I don't even think that's a problem because honestly, honestly, I feel like whether you've got big boobs, small boobs, in between boobs, <laughs> in between boobs, you can still rock low cut things. I think it looks so good, honestly. Just my opinion. It just goes all the way down. It is a maxi dress with a kind of a little bit of a split at the bottom. And it comes with this little satin choker as well. That's so good. If you looked at this dress, how much honestly would you think it is? Like, I'll just give you a minute to like, guess. 30 pounds. 30 pounds for a satin maxi dress with a choker. Like what? What? My mind is like, ah. It honestly fits beautifully as well. It kind of like hugs you in a little bit at the waist then obviously goes down like a maxi dress. It basically just has shape to it, which is really, really lovely. Bonus points as well, because you can adjust these straps as well to make them tighter, you know, like a bra, which is great because obviously we all are different like lengths and stuff. Lengths. <laughs> it is beautiful. If you need that dress for that special occasion or you're just extra AF, whichever it may be. You need this in your life for 30 pounds. You can't go wrong. You just can't. Little bit of denim now. I love me some denim. Denim skirt as well. Just a nice light wash denim. Hopefully you guys can see this, but it's kind of stretchy, which means it gives a little bit of give with the sizing and it's way more comfortable. And I stuck to my size, I got a size eight by the way. Really, really cool. Has some nice distressed details in it, which I'm all about. And what I loved about it is it has like a chunk missing on one leg. Now, some of you might be looking at this and thinking, I promise it looks cool on, like really, really cool. Something a little bit different. I love something that has something different. Like it's a simple denim skirt, but it has a little bit of a twist to it. Fits me really, really well. I like to wear my um, skirts high-waisted and sometimes that can be a problem. That can be a problem. Because I like to have it tight around my waist, but obviously be comfortable around my bum and everything. But sometimes that's just like not possible. However, this is tight around my waist and nice around my bum. We went to chicken dinner. Priced at 20 pound, which is great. So, so great. I feel like you'd pay like double that at Urban Outfitters for this. Anyone else? Oh, freaking obsessed. Yes, go get them. I actually have this other skirt from them as well, so I may as well show you while I'm here. It is this faux leather skirt, but it's more of like a matte faux leather, if you can see that. It's not like overly shiny. And then it has like this buckle waist and kind of like pocket. Are these like, wait, let me check that they like they're real or not yet okay then they're, they're not real but anyway it's just got like a real biker feel to me i think it's really really cool i love how it's got the um like belt that comes with it so again you can like customize it around your waist nice little uh a line little skirt which is gonna go with so much it's black but it's kind of edgy you know stuck to my size size eight again i can't complain about the fit there is nothing i would change priced at 25 pounds which is kind of like i feel like that's like the average price for skirts and stuff on their website, which I think is really, really good. Oh yeah, I have another something that I feel like has been seen everywhere. I mean, that's good. You can, you can really see that. See, then I'm like knitted off the shoulder, wiggly 
edging dresses and tops and stuff. Basically, this is that. So yeah, off the shoulder. Love anything off the shoulder. Like, I love a bit of shoulder action, me. Long sleeved. Nice sort of mini dress, comes to a nice length. I love the fact it's like knitted. I feel like it's really gonna keep me warm. I live in England, I have to think about the warmth. I mean, I say that and I've come through with a bunch of skirts for you. I'm pretty sure they had a few colors, but I went for black because black is just such a staple. Like you can't go wrong with a little LBD, a little back dress, you just can't. It does feel really nice quality as well, like a nice thick knit. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes you can get like a thick knit and then sometimes like a knit that's just like thin. Wow, my explanations. <laughs> I got a size eight, it does have stretch to it though, so I feel like I could have even got a size six, really. Um, but yeah, it was 20 pounds. I'm actually really excited to wear this. I feel, <coughs> whoa, Jesus, almost died. You could totally wear this out on a night out, you know, drinks with the girls or I don't know, out clubbing. Or you could totally wear this during the day with a nice denim jacket and some like boots because where it's knitted it can look kind of casual as well if you've been like following me for oh little sneak peek <laughs> if you watch my other hauls you would have seen um really <laughs> my mind is just not working today apparently <laughs> you would have seen this play suit before in like another color oh, well very similar anyway i can't remember if it's from this guided or pretty thing Anyway, Nasty Gal have that play suit in this amazing satin silver. Now, I'm not really a silver girl, me, gonna be honest, but this was satin and I just was like, I can't pass it up. It is a play suit. I feel like some of you might be looking at this right now and thinking, why have you got your dressing gown out, Jordan? But I'm pretty sure that's the whole sort of vibe of this. It's meant to be like nightwear outwear. So it has a nice low cut situation here then it has like little frilly sleeves and frills sort of on the shorts as well and then it has the bit around the middle i love stuff like this on nights out honestly it's so easy i can throw it on and go got a size i'm pretty sure i got a size eight yeah i did and it is 22 pounds i'm just like, trying to picture it on <laughs> i love things that you can just like whip out put on, whip out you know what i mean you know what i mean you can just like whip them out put them on good to go you know what though i have to say i am so impressed with nasty gal like this is the first time i um have ever had anything of theirs and i am so impressed with the quality of their items to the price if that makes sense not only that but the way that they fit as well it's like they've really thought about the fit i don't know but the items that i own i'm super super impressed by so i'll leave them below but definitely check nasty gal because i'm really really impressed I think I've said that like 20 times, but I'm really, really impressed. <laughs> Time for a little bit of pretty little thing. I picked up this woolly little jumper. Now I've never really been about the jumper life, to be completely honest with you. She says sat here in literally a woolly jumper, but this one was just calling my name. So it is this black cropped jumper. I feel like that's why I really liked it to be honest is because it's cropped. I don't even think cropped. I'm like, yeah. I think it's because I wear a lot of high-waisted stuff, so I'm all covered up still, but I just think crop looks better on me. It has kind of a high neck, and then it has these white stripes going across, as you can see. <laughs> when I bought this, they had no size 8s left. They had a 10, though, and I was like, I feel like you could get away with upping a size. You know them pieces of clothing where you're like, I feel like you can get away with going that size up or that size down, whatever. This is definitely that item because obviously it can be oversized. I still think that would look good. I got it in a 10 and I don't even think I would have picked up an eight. I'm so happy with the 10. I love the way it fits. I don't know what's going on, but I've been kind of lucky with the sizing. They haven't had my size, so I've just been like, let's risk it. And it's turned out like exactly how I would it to so this little guy is only 15 pounds as well which is an absolute steal for a staple i feel like this is a staple everything's a staple apparently in my wardrobe but keeping with the cash theme i got this super oversized what is that gooey oh it's come back gooey <laughs> so yeah this super oversized hoodie now I didn't actually get it oversized, it is like meant to be oversized. So this is a size small, but what I love about this is it's big enough to be a dress, like big enough and long enough. A nude oversized hoodie dress, can't go wrong. This was some sock boots though. You don't actually have to wear it as a dress. I mean, I do, I'm pretty sure the model was wearing it as one as well. I think she had these little cycle shorts in underneath. So you don't have to, it's totally up to you, but I tried it on and it's long enough to be. So that's how, I'm gonna wear it. I love anything nude as well, because again, it's so easy to pair with things. Not that I'm really gonna pair it with anything, because it's a dress, but yeah. It is 20 pounds. I wasn't picking my nose then, I just had an itch. <laughs> Showing you something cash, now I'm gonna show you something a little bit more dressier. I say a little bit dressier, it definitely is dressier, because it's like a going out dress. The colour of this is beautiful, that like ready burgundy 
shade. I think this color looks amazing on all skin tones as well. I just realized it's satin. I think I have a problem. Nice low cut again. Apparently I'm all about that. I think when I wear it though, I'm gonna just kind of tape in, like booby tape the middle, just so it's not so low and I don't feel like my boob is about to like just fall out. It has this really nice sort of choker detail. It is attached, it is all like a one thing. Then in the middle, it kind of ruches together. Um, and then there is a nice little, you can't really see, but there's like a little, little cutout. This is one of those dresses which is fitted, but not fitted, but is still flattering. It's just like where the ruching kind of brings you in, but it's not like a bodycon, but like it's still, I'm gonna shut up. Oh, you fell off. Oh, I'm just obsessed with this color. Like look. This burgundy, I think it's so hot. Pretty little thing, providing the goods, as per usual, like never disappoints. And to be completely honest with you, the model that was wearing this, like her, she just looks amazing in everything and everything she wears, I buy. <laughs> Does anyone ever do that? She's responsible for 99% of my pretty little thing buys, I swear. Stuck to my size, I think it comes up pretty true to size, and it was 30 pounds. Another dress, but this one is a lot more on the sort of cash side. So it is this sort of black t-shirt dress. Has a really nice high neck. And then it has this really cool font on the front. This is baby girl. Like, what does this remind me of? Hmm, I don't know, it's not coming to me right now. But I just love how sort of it has this bold orange font on it. When I bought this, I had to do a little bit of like thinking <laughs> because the model was wearing a size eight, but it looked really long. And I hate it when my t-shirt dresses are too long because it makes me look shorter than what I am. I'm not that short. I'm like five foot five, but it just makes me look short. And I don't like that. I want to look like nice and long. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? It looks pretty oversized anyway. I'm going to go down two sizes. So I picked this up in a four and I am never a four, but this fits perfectly. It's kind of more of a fitted t-shirt dress it doesn't like cling to me or anything but it is more like on the fitted size it's not super oversized i can actually picture this with some like orange boots or something i kind of need orange boots now why do i do this to myself <laughs> so yeah you can totally get away with sizing down a couple depending on how you want it to fit and the length and everything um and it was only a 15 pounds and then am i on to the last thing with the pretty little thing I think I am. Now I know that I've said that other things are like staples that you need in your wardrobe, but, but this is legit a staple. This is super, super simple, but I can tell I'm gonna wear the absolute crap out of it. So it's just a black bodysuit, but it has, you can't really see on hanger, but it has this um square neckline. I love the square neckline. Like I think it looks good on everybody. It makes your boobs look good. It just is such a pretty feminine thing. I picked up because to be honest with you, I don't have that simple bodysuit or top or whatever that goes with everything but still looks nice, you know? It's that stretchy, soft kind of material. I don't quite know, but it feels good. Always, always, always get a size eight in my bodysuit so, you know, it fits nicely and we don't get that full bum cheek thing going on because that ain't cute. It was only 12 pounds as well. I couldn't resist. It's such a classic. Yeah. The last two things I have to share with you are from Misguided. I love a bit of Misguided. There honestly would have been more from them, but I went to the checkout to buy my bits and the two pairs of camera trousers that I went to get were sold out. You know, you get so excited to purchase something and then it's like, so many items in your basket are currently out of stock. I was like, no, don't do this to me. So I only ended up getting a couple things. So the first thing is actually the jumper that I'm wearing now. You can't really see, but so it's just this cropped, ugh, that kind of hurt my legs. I don't even know why I did that because you're going to see it on the try a bit, but it's a cropped knitted jumper and it has like this sort of roll neck it is so cozy i don't even want to take it off it's such a versatile piece where it's cropped you can wear it with like denim skirts like jeans anything like literally anything <laughs> i think it would look really cool with some ripped jeans or like some mum jeans or something it was i got a size eight at, no i got i got it in a small i got it in a small because it does have a bit of give to it and it was 18 pounds i'm gonna feel snug as a bag in a rug <laughs> now this is the piece that i think is gonna look so good with that um pretty little thing striped jumper i feel like this is gonna be a bit like marmite to some people like you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it but i promise it looks better on than off i love it i love it so just like a vinyl red skirt it pretty much looks like a normal denim skirt really but it, it i mean it's definitely not denim at all in any way shape or form it is really really comfortable as well to wear by the way i feel like some of you might be like that probably isn't comfortable it is comfortable i promise where it's a skirt and not trousers like it doesn't get stuck or anything kind of wish it was like the buckle skirt from nasty girl so like a bit more of that edgy style but i still love it nonetheless and again this is that staple piece in 
an outfit and red I love anything red I don't know I think it's really different I think it's gonna go with a ton of different outfits like I have so many outfits planned in my head for this skirt I'm pretty sure I stuck to my yep got a size 8 and it was only 22 pounds but yeah that is everything oh my god that is everything that is all the clothes that I have to share with you guys I'm now just looking at them thinking where the hell are they gonna go in my wardrobe because my wardrobe is already full to the brim let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing was or if you're going to purchase anything Also, if you do purchase anything don't forget to like tag me in your pictures or tweet me Whatever it may be um, so I can have a look So I'd love to see you guys styling anything up in your way And I just love seeing you guys killing it like I love it If you did enjoy this video don't forget to smash that thumbs up button And if you do want to stick around and see a little bit more from me then please subscribe before you go That would be amazing. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching I love every single one of you and I will see you in my next video Mwah. Bye.